I think it's going to be an exciting time in the next 10 years. These kind of meetings, we hang a lot of crepe. I think there's a lot of exciting things happening. Genomics, for example, I think is going to have a tremendous impact. It's going to uh, save a lot of lives, uh, create a lot of cost savings. So I think it's going to be a terrific time to be in healthcare. I agree. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to the chance. I, I think with, with always, when there's a crisis, there's always opportunity. And I think there's a lot of opportunity during this time of change, during health care reform. Um, I, I think the consolidation will support change and in a positive way. Um, I think there's a lot of positive things that are coming. Uh, I, just, I just hope, <laughs> and I'll say this with all due respect to Washington, that Washington doesn't get too involved in over-regulating the process and let the players in healthcare that are doing it well help design what, what we would call accountable healthcare and rational healthcare in the future. I think most of the major systems uh, are on to this, understand it, have started this process, and, and let us help design this in a way, let the, let the clinicians and the providers design the system of the future. It's already underway in a lot of parts of the country, and I think we'll all be better served for that. I'm optimistic, too. I, I think you're going to see health care get better in our country, frankly. I think you're going to see transparency is better today than it was five years ago. I think it's driven better quality. It's driven better access and service. I think as we become even more transparent, you're going to see uh, outcomes improve. You're going to see patient safety improve. Um, if facilities that are, that are, that are good are, are going to get better. Uh, ones that are not not very good, I think, are going to get better, or you know, will, will not make it, uh, or will join systems that will help them get better. So I think, in general, you're going to see healthcare get better in our country. I think the the cost challenge is going to be a problem because, um, frankly, if we, if, you know, as we cover 30 million more people, uh, which I think is the right thing to do, uh, it's going to generate more cost. I mean, whatever the estimates are, they're probably uh, underestimated, quite frankly. So that's going to create more pricing pressure in, in, in physicians and hospitals and other you know, parts of the delivery system. So we've got to get better on the cost side. We've got to, I, I've heard you know, doing more with less. I, I think we've got to do better with less. And, and that's just going to be kind of the mantra that we use internally. Uh, and, and frankly, I've got to tell you that, that our physicians and our staff are excited about the opportunity and realize that, that we're really on to something um, historic here. And I think part of the X factor in all this too, Mike, is the fact that um, <laughs> the boomers coming into our into healthcare today don't have the patience my parents had, uh, or the lifestyle change. I mean, there's a major lifestyle change with the boomers that that are going to affect how we do things. Uh, it's not good enough now that if you you know if you put a uh, a, a new knee in somebody, they want to be playing tennis real soon. Uh, it's a major thought process change in people in the boomer uh, society today that are going to force us to do things a lot differently. And being one of those boomers, I, I know how I feel about that. Uh, and, and I really don't have patience for less than that. So I think, it's, I think that's going to help change the process as well. Just, just one last comment I'd make is I, I think it also, I know G's done this, we've done, I know Virtua has. I mean, we have to start at home. We have to start with our own people. Yep. And we need to make sure that as employers, you know, we're stepping up and making sure our people are active. Uh, we create incentives for people to be active and, and give them discounts on insurance to do that mm -hmm. and, and help them to, to lead a, a healthier lifestyle. Because going back to Tim's comment about norms, I mean, we have to create a norm that it is a good thing to live a healthy lifestyle in our country. And sure. I think as we change that, we'll see improvements in healthcare in general.